And here we are. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us today um, uh, for today's webinar, where we will be focusing on the roadmap to Business Central, uh, your free migration project estimation within one week. Next slide, please, there, uh, Alex. Uh, so today's agenda, we're going to focus on um, talking about end progression as an organization, so about us. Um, we'll introduce ourselves and um, showcase some of our, our product portfolio. We'll also go into the silent migration approach and looking at the benefits and key elements and tools. And then what's next? It will be focusing on our launch and um, showcasing of the upgrade scan and portal. So just to give you an overview, so for everybody that is joining us for the very first time, who are N Progression? So N Progression, we are a Microsoft Gold partner. Um, we're very we are innovative in the way that we approach and deal with our uh, customers through our uh, solutions, especially when it comes to Dynamics 365 for both ERP and CRM. But as a Microsoft partner, we have customers for Europe. As you can see here on the screen, we do have some large organizations in our portfolio. Our offices are based in the UK, Germany and Serbia. Uh, one again, one positive thing about in progression is that um, we show a great integrity in the way we want to deal with our customers in making sure that they do get the best of any uh, product that they do come for us through an implementation, whether it's Dynamics 365 for Business Central or finance and supply chain management, and also the Dynamics 365 CRM, along with other products that we do focus on as well. If you move to the next slide there, please, Alex. So this is our product portfolio. Although a lot of the focus today will be on Dynamics 365, we also focus heavily on Azure, Power BI. Um, we're looking at cloud for sustainability as well. This is something that we've ventured into relatively new, and we feel very confident in our approach in doing it for uh, the cloud for sustain sustainability as well. And the Power Platform, of course, is something that we're very confident in dealing with as well. But as I said today, today's focus heavily will be from uh, the Dynamics 365 ERP side as we focus on uh, migration from NAV to Business Central. Next slide, please. So without further ado, let's introduce um, my lovely team here that we do have uh, a lot that I have along with me today. So um, Alex Inyakin, uh, he's our team lead and product lead. Alex is over there. And we've got Lana Bellios as well. Uh, she's our product marketing manager. And of course, you've got myself, John Aloro, who's business development manager here at M Progression. Uh, as you can see, I mean, Alex will be beginning the talk here. Uh, he's got a wealth of experience in D365 and uh, NAV as well. So um, without further ado, I believe I will be handing it over to you, Alex. Yeah. Uh, hi, everyone. And uh, first of all, I wanted to give you an idea of what is a South migration approach is. And uh, here's the case is that we have lots of uh, migration projects and uh, out of these projects, we have uh, lots of tools which uh, helps us to reduce costs uh, on uh, different stages. And uh, according to our estimations uh, at different stages, uh, which uh, cost savings could be up to 47%. And uh, today I wanted to uh, go through some of our tools and uh, provide you some examples and uh, the way how we works and what we can offer to you. Uh, so uh, here on this slide you can uh, see a kind of uh, migration journey uh, with some of our uh, solution and services. Uh, that's not all services and not all solutions and we don't have time to pay attention on uh, each solution of this slide. Actually we will focus on, lead, on those uh, solutions which are on the violet line. It's the first line here on this slide. Uh, but all the solutions and services are grouped in uh, uh, two parts. The first part is uh, kind of uh, speed up the uh, preparation or initiation project or uh, diagnostic stage and so forth. And here we have uh, two tools. The first one is the upgrade scanner. 
And uh, I'll give you more details a bit later. The second one is the license estimate uh, because it's very important to estimate the license cost uh, during the immigration project. It's not very transparent. And uh, we give uh, customers uh, all the details regarding uh, to this issue. And the second group of the tools and services are related to the uh, um, delivery of the project itself. And uh, uh, here we'll talk about data migration tools and services, uh, UET automation, uh, but also we have tools uh, which related to the um, um, extension transition, so the way how we transfer objects from old version to the uh, business central. Uh, so uh, first uh, things first, and uh, let's start with the upgrade scanner. So the key idea here is that um, uh, when you are talking about the migration project, first of all, you need to assess uh, the migration project. And the key milestone here is uh, providing kind of technical audit of the current database. Um, it's very crucial for a migration project uh, to find out some technical issues uh, which you need to pay attention. Uh, for example, if you are talking about migration from old version to the BC, uh, for example, you need to find out all the dot .NET components uh, which are used in your current database. Uh, you need to rewrite it if you're going to use uh, BCE, Business Central. Um, the same if you are using uh, SQL storage procedures, that's mean that you you're unable to use so if you're going to migrate to the clouds. Uh, of course, it's uh, very uh, useful for you to find any components which is uh, crucial for the license policy of Microsoft and uh, affects uh, uh, license cost in the future. It's uh, very, um, uh, very interesting for the customer how much uh, he will pay for the license in the future based on the way of customization uh, will be transferred to the new version. Also, we uh, provide uh, diagnostic of uh, different functional areas and uh, find uh, any customization in the database and uh, break it through different uh, um, areas. And we find different interconnectance uh, between uh, different areas. Uh, and uh, this is the way uh, how we understand which part of the functionality uh, could be eliminated from the migration, which uh, not. Uh, we use this uh, tool. Um, closely with uh, the uh, user activity tracker and uh, give you some uh, details to this um, tool uh, a bit later. But the key idea here is that, um, for example, we have a case uh, where a customer has uh, more than 20 legal entities throughout the world. Uh, we uh, had lots of customization in the database, uh, and uh, in the database worked uh, near 200 users, and we used uh, 400 uh, custom reports. And the first question here was uh, which uh, reports are really in use, which not. And uh, if we are going to provide the kind of interview with end users and ask which reports are you use or are not, which are not, it's a very time consuming and messy. And uh, when we used the uh, user activity tracker, we turned it on for several uh, weeks and find out uh, all uh, reports, custom reports, uh, which are actually in use and in the scope of the migration project. And we also know which users use, uh, use uh, which objects and this is uh, very helpful for a planning UET stage and so forth. So, um, two main outcomes from um, Upgrade Scanner, uh, it's uh, two reports. Uh, the first report is Excel uh, report with lots of technical details. And the second one is a, a diagnostic uh, a report. It's a customer ready report with uh, lots of uh, descriptions uh, and detailization. And um, I'm going to go through all uh, through all these reports uh, which is available out of the upgrade scanner diagnostic stage. And uh, let me uh, share you uh, screen view of the report. So this um, 
detailed report with, all, with the lots of technical information. Uh, usually this report is very useful for the team which is responsible for the migration process itself. It could be uh, your local partner or it could be uh, your internal team. So he, uh, here you can see on the first uh, sheet uh, all the objects uh, which is existed in the database. So I can uh, scroll uh, it down and you may see lots of uh, objects uh, which uh, we analyzed in this particular database. So it's uh, about uh, 4,000 uh, objects and more. And uh, if you're going to estimate the migration project, uh, the best way uh, you need to analyze the whole objects, but it's impossible because it's uh, very time consuming. Uh, we are, did it automatically and uh, pick up lots of uh, detailed statistics uh, for each report. And uh, now I wanted to uh, go through some sheets and provide you some details uh, regarding to this uh, report. Uh, first uh, sh sheet which I wanted to uh, show you its uh, functional areas and here you can see the breakdown of your customization, customers customization by, uh, by different functional areas. Uh, here for example we can see that uh, the most customized uh, functional area is the finance, uh, the second one is the sales and marketing. Um, you can actually drill down to the each value uh, in this report and you can see all the related uh, objects and you as a developer or technical uh, specialist can open these objects uh, in development, uh, development environment and check uh, the results of this uh, diagnostic. And uh, this information is uh, very helpful when you are going to plan, for example, UAT stage, the workload on end users during the testing and so forth. Uh, also, you can estimate uh, on the high level which part of the customization you really need, which not. For example, we can see some uh, additional functionality. Uh, it's not standard functionality, and this is the reason. Uh, um, this is one reason where we can discuss: uh, Do we need this functionality or not? Also, we uh, can see some uh, critical areas, uh, which according to now uh, to our experience is very important during the migration project. And uh, you can see the uh, volume of customization in each uh, crucial area, for example, sales orders process. So you can drill down and see all customized uh, objects in the system. So that's uh, the case and this is how um, one the way how we can use this information. I already told you about uh, .NET components, the same about automation. So if you uh, migrate to the uh, business central, you need to rewrite these components and uh, you can see here statistic by uh, different objects types and uh, different groups of the objects. It's core integrations, documentations, printing forms, uh, postings objects, uh, uh, jobs and so forth. Again, in each line you can drill down and see all the related object uh, for uh, this uh, value. Uh, next uh, sheet which I wanted to show you is just uh, top of the reports uh, which uh, customize in the system and uh, this is kind of the list which you can double check with the end users. Do you really need it or not? Uh, the most customized and complex uh, report here is just this one and uh, you see that uh, it's uh, very uh, costly to migrate uh, this uh, object to the BC. Uh, what's next? Uh, next, uh, we uh, break f uh, all uh, the customization by uh, different types of the migration. Uh, you know that uh, with customization in the core of the system, it uh, affects the standard objects and with uh, um, standalone customization. And uh, here we face with, uh, face with different strategies of migration. Uh, for example, if uh, we are um, uh, talking about on staining uh, customization, that's mean we just need to migrate uh, these objects. It's very easy, uh, but if uh, we are deal with uh, core customization, we need to uh, create uh, extensions some special way. And uh, here we can see that uh, the that lots of standard objects was customized and it uh, significantly affects the timeline and cost of migration. 
Uh, so there are uh, lots of uh, other um, sheets in this Excel with uh, lots of data. Um, I uh, wouldn't uh, give you all the details for all the sheets, uh, but the key idea here is that uh, this detailed report uh, includes all the information which is uh, mandatory for the, the project uh, estimation, so the project estimation. And uh, you can request uh, the offer based on this detailed diagnostic, and uh, we can uh, <clears throat> prepare this offer automatically based on our experience and the statistic data which we uh, pick up from your uh, data. Database. So that's uh, the key idea. So this is the uh, first report uh, which we uh, provide as a result of um, upgrade scanner and the second one is uh, related to the uh, kind of customer ready report. It's a PDF report and um, I can uh, share with you some example. So here you can see the lots of uh, detailed uh, descriptions and uh, these descriptions give you insights how the migration uh, project uh, can uh, go through and uh, you may see lots of details related to your database and related to your particular case. Uh, the report um, has two big sections. Uh, the first one is the functional and the second one is the technical. And if we will go through some functional uh, section, we can see actually the same information which we saw in the Excel file, but uh, with uh, some detailed description of uh, this particular case. And uh, here you can find some uh, insights and uh, the ways how you need to understand uh, this information and how you need to focus on it. Also, we uh, provide some additional information on how you can migrate uh, your data, different strategies, and you can read and choose one of them. Uh, if it's uh, related to you, we can assess uh, the uh, freeze necessity. It's uh, crucial for those companies which provide lots of customization on a day basis. And uh, if we are migrating to the BC, we need to set some uh, freeze period in the old database. Um, also, we can um, assess the workload of end users based on the value of customization. And uh, here you can see some assumption on uh, how many hours and users need to be spent on the different stages and uh, lots of uh, detailed description regarding to this process. Um, also, we provide description of project methodology itself uh, with some insights, with some objects, uh, options which uh, are related especially to the case which we analyzed in the database. Uh, we have provided different options for cell and data migrations, and you can see it here. Uh, if you are talking about the technical section, again, uh, we have uh, the same statistic data, but with a detailed description here. Um, for some particular cases, our experts add some comments uh, based on the detailed information in the Excel file, and uh, that gives you some additional insights uh, related to your particular case. It will be uh, quite hel uh, helpful because we can see some patterns uh, which uh, uh, may play as a crucial role during the migration uh, project. Uh, so, uh, eventually we have uh, some summary and again, if you want to receive some offer, we can prepare offer with different options and you can see a uh, detailed description for each option. You can see a uh, price, a fixed price for the whole project uh, and also you can see some additional uh, options uh, for the migration uh, the project which reduce risks, reduce uh, workload on end, end users and so forth. Uh, lots of different op uh, options. Uh, we are not uh, um, offer the uh, whole uh, project migration on our own. We can uh, provide you a service uh, for upgrade scanner only, uh, but if you uh, want to order some part of the, uh, the, the migration process or 
the project migration uh, process, we can take this part. For example, we can prepare UAT tests, so we can configure the system, we can provide uh, only objects migration to the BC and so forth. So um, we are very flexible and that depends on your internal team and uh, on uh, your current partner um, uh, ability. So um, that's uh, it, what I, I wanted to say about um, reports, and now I'm um, ready to go back to the presentation and proceed um, uh, with it. So um, uh, we finished with reports, and to sum, uh, to sum up, uh, out of the silent diagnostic stage, using our upgrade scanner tool, we uh, find out all the technical issues which crucial for the uh, planning of the migration project. Uh, we can uh, assess the workload of end users. We can uh, eliminate the migration scope itself uh, based on uh, object analysis and uh, for user activity tracker. Um, and we are also ready to provide you a fixed price estimation for the whole project and for some separate parts of this project. Uh, some uh, <clears throat> More details about uh, some outcomes of uh, Brit Scanner. This is uh, uh, one of the results of the diagnostic stage. We prepare a uh, kind of uh, gaps diagnostic, and uh, to do so, we compare all the objects from a customer's database with the reference database. Uh, reference database, it's uh, just a standard database of Microsoft without any customization. And uh, when we compare objects, we find out all the gaps and we calculate uh, costs uh, based on uh, these gaps, based on this uh, customization, which we find out directly in the um, uh, database. And you can see that uh, we highlighted with uh, some cover and uh, we can find all the customization even if it's not documented well. So we just compare to the database and find all the customization. Now what's next? Um, uh, what's next? Uh, a bit details about our uh, user activity tracker. Uh, I told that we can track user activities based on different system objects, but also we can uh, track user activities uh, in the code. For example, um, if you have uh, some uh, big customization part and you don't want to migrate all this customization to the uh, business central, we can uh, a record uh, uh, and the user activity in this uh, customization and uh, transfer only those part of this uh, customization uh, which is really in use. And we will see which part of the customization really in use on the code level of each object. So, uh, as example, you may see that we highlight uh, the code which wasn't used uh, when the uh, user performed uh, their uh, business process. Uh, so here you can see some screenshots. Uh, this is a uh, user activity uh, tracker. On the left side uh, slide, you can uh, see some list of the objects. And uh, the last column here is the number of calls for each object. If you drill down to this amount, you will see a uh, list of users and timing uh, when uh, which particular object was around. So it's very useful. Um, you uh, not only understand which uh, part of the functionality in use, but uh, which users uh, use which uh, functionality, and very useful for the for the planning of the project. Uh, you, this uh, user activity tracker works uh, for versions NAV 2009 to 2018 and up to BC uh, 14. And uh, now I'm ready to go uh, to the second part. This is the set of the tools which uh, uh, helps to speed up the delivery process itself. And the uh, first uh, uh, tool which I wanted to uh, tell you is um, it's about a user acceptance test. And it's a very 
uh, time, uh, time consuming stage because users need to test a system and uh, the standard um, approach looks like uh, this, uh, which you see on the screen. So first of all, um, if a consultant need to uh, prepare some uh, user case, uh, uh, they need to provide uh, some interview with end users, uh, find out all the business scenario and based on this scenario, prepare some uh, test cases, approve these test, uh, test cases with end users and uh, provide UET testing itself. It's a very time consuming and uh, it's not uh, provide uh, a very high quality. Uh, we can offer here some automation, um, actually two tools uh, applicable here. The first tool is then uh, we, uh, for example, can analyze uh, the historical data in your database. Uh, for example, uh, we have a case uh, where we have uh, near 7,000 uh, uh, posted sales invoices. Uh, for the last, I don't know, 10 years. And uh, based on this information, uh, we can automatically um, uh, prepare unique UAT uh, cases for testing in the new database. If you migrate it as it is, uh, it's uh, very helpful. And um, here I wanted to share you um, share some um, example of this uh, diagnostic, how it can look like. And uh, for example, um, we analyzed all the posted sales invoices and uh, our tool can uh, automatically identify all the uh, fields in different entities of the system, which is uh, valuable for the business process itself. Uh, for example, if uh, we analyze a posted sales invoice, it uh, doesn't matter which description in the sales invoice, it's uh, not a fact. Uh, the business process itself, uh, but uh, there are lots of marks, uh, lots of uh, configurations which affects business process, how it's uh, going. So we can analyze all these uh, crucial things, all these uh, crucial marks and uh, codes uh, related to some uh, particular uh, functional area like uh, sales invoice. Uh, and uh, system automatically uh, pick up all the related information in the list. Here you can see that uh, near 40 lines or 40 parameters for sales invoice, which is crucial for the particular business uh, process. And the system identified automatically, including customization, and here in the metrics, you can see the different uh, parameters, uh, different unique parameters for this uh, business uh, entity. And uh, uh, here we can see some statistic, how many posted documents uh, to these combinations, how many posted documents for these combinations. And also you can see the number of users which uh, posted these uh, documents. And you understand that uh, uh, if we have, for example, 7,000 uh, posted documents uh, out of this process, uh, we uh, have only, let's see, 60 unique cases. Uh, but uh, if I'll scroll right, you may see that a uh, very small amount of users post small amount of the documents. And uh, we actually don't need uh, to test it because it looks like some errors and the bug fixing and so forth. Uh, lots of uh, data we don't need actually to test. We just need to uh, take some meaningful combinations and this is uh, crucial for the testing process. Uh, we can, uh, based on this information, we can provide UET test, uh, test manual or we can automatically upload this uh, data to the UET environment and users will need to check it and post it and uh, that's uh, significant, significantly reduce the workload on the end users and on IT team uh, for UET uh, test case preparation and uh, for UET testing itself. Uh, so I'll go back to my presentation. And uh, what's next? I'm wanting to say what's next. Um, of course, when we are talking about uh, user accept acceptance test, it's not provides the perfect quality because in some cases it's not real life. 
um, the perfect quality is then you uh, provide kind of parallel run. So you take uh, one week or two week and post the same documents in uh, two system in the old one and the new one. Uh, but of course, it's a very time consuming. And um, uh, here we have a tool which um, uh, dramatically reduce the workload on end users and a key idea here is that uh, users uh, uh, works as usual in all database and post uh, their documents and as soon uh, posted new posted document appears a system automatically transfer with the posted document as unposted to the new database and uh, users need to just uh, double post it in the new uh, system we have here a case where and we launch this tool on one of the project and at the end of uh, the second week uh, we fixed all the issues and we actually rename our UT environment uh, to the production environment uh, because everything works uh, well. So uh, this um, approach um, helps uh, very smoothly uh, migrate to the production environment because uh, you don't need to switch some data flows, you uh, can switch it case by case. Uh, it reduces stress on the end users, and uh, it's uh, it's automate some uh, routine data input and so forth. Um, very good experience with this tool, and uh, very positive. Um, a third um, tool which I wanted to uh, tell today is about uh, data migration. And again, if you're talking about some standard approach, we can use some Excel templates and migrate data from the old system to the new one. Um, of course, we can provide uh, historical data migration, um, but this slide is about uh, uh, initial balance uploading from the old system uh, to the new one and we have a tool which uh, have a, a built-in uh, logic and uh, you have a different type of the data when you migrate from the old version to the new one uh, first type of the data it's kind of master date and configuration data uh, of course you have uh, some customization and uh, we have a tool which automatically map uh, all the master data and configuration data from the old system to the new one it's based on the name of the fields so if you migrate to the bc you know you need to use some extensions it's some separate tables uh, in the physical database and uh, uh, it's a bit tricky to map uh, data from the old system to the new one so we have a tool which uh, provide automatic mapping as for the ledgers of course uh, with a separate business logic for um, some particular business data and uh, we have uh, built in business logic which helps to prepare initial balances for different types uh, of uh, ledgers in the the system. Uh, so if you are talking about master data uh, for some reason uh, you may uh, need uh, some uh, data cleaning and uh, we have uh, tools which uh, helps to uh, help uh, help you to uh, provide some deduplication so we have tool which analyze your master data and uh, offer to you some uh, duplicates in the system also we can analyze uh, all your master data and if uh, some entity are not in use for for some period of the time, we can eliminate it from the migration and uh, uh, upload only available fields and available um, uh, elements of the dictionary. Um, that's the key idea here is and of course it's very important after the data migration and during the parallel run it's uh, very crucial to provide a reconciliation and of course it's better when you have some automated tool um, uh, which you may use uh, for compare your data in the old system and a new one and uh, here we have two which compare meaningful fields for example we uh, we can talk about some uh, customer ledger entry. We have different structure of uh, this entity in old system and a new one, uh, but with uh, a standard set of meaningful fields. And uh, we have a tool which helps to map all these values and check if everything is okay. 
in the above um, uh, systems. So uh, to sum up all uh, the tools uh, which uh, I was uh, talked about, uh, that, uh, there are two groups of the tools. The first one is uh, related to the diagnostic stage. It helps to provide detailed technical uh, diagnostic report, actually two reports, detailed report and a customer ready report with lots of description, uh, business related description. Also based on this information, we also uh, ready to provide the fast quote. It's actually during uh, one uh, week or shorter. We don't need to involve end users and uh, provide lots of interview. It's very easy, very simple and uh, very cheap. Uh, and the uh, second group of the tools uh, related to the delivery process itself, we have batch of uh, tools. Uh, we just talked about uh, two or three of them and uh, uh, everything depends on uh, your our, our requirements. Uh, I want to say that uh, we're not just uh, um, migrate uh, projects. We can uh, uh, provide some separate services like data migration, UT, and so forth. It depends on your requirements. It depends of uh, depends on ability of your internal team or the ability of your um, local partner, etc. Very flexible. We can uh, discuss uh, different approaches. Um, and now I, I want to uh, pass a word to the um, Alana. She will uh, tell you about our uh, uh, portal related to the upgrade scanner. Yeah, thank Alana. you, Alex. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for such detailed information about our sound migration approach. And um, hi all, thank you for joining us again. And I'm really excited with demonstration of the sound migration portal today. The portal, it's not just a product, it's a doorway to the future, uh, to the new version of your current ERP system. So today <clears throat> we are not uh, just launching a product, we are inviting you to embark on a journey with us, a silent migration journey towards a future where Microsoft technologies um, empower, will empower your business. So the, the portal is the first step of this journey and we can't wait for you to experience the magic uh, it holds. So I will share my screen. Give me a moment. Um, yes, this. So um, let me check that it's okay. So um, after you register at the portal, you will come to the first module, Sound Migration Journey. And here in the middle, you can see step-by-step -step guide how to receive your upgrade project estimation within a week. So let's start with the first one, at company details. Just click on it and go to the form. As you see, I have already completed this submission, form submission and uh, all what I can do uh, is that I can correct any information here. If you will make a mistake here or want to change anything, you can click on this block, click on edit and um, change any field and click on update or cancel. So after you um, add this company data, we will come back to you. Uh, within 24 hours with a link to DocuSign. Uh, let's move to the step two, request quotation. As you see, um, here is a short, simple form uh, with your company name. Uh, also, you need to put here data on your current Microsoft partner and choose your item on quote. Of course, we recommend you start from the first tool, Upgrade Scanner, our diagnostic report. And for the future, if you will um, decide to continue your migration journey with us, you can, um, you can um, require for us here additional services, uh, not only to, for end-to-end -end migration, also uh, for the part of these migration services, as Alex mentioned before. So uh, we can uh, click at any of these, uh, for example, this uh, uh, test partner verification code and um, and submit this form. And after form submission, you will see all your requests, number of these requests here. Also, you can change anything within this table, and we will take update data uh, into our portal. 
So uh, after you request the form, um, you will be able to upload your system objects. And here you can see also additional form uh, with additional information, which is um, really important for our upgrade scanner and our internal experts. Uh, when you will add your data, when you will upload your file here and submit this form, our upgrade scanner automatically will take this all data, process it and prepare and create your report. Uh, our expert team will read this report and add recommendations and uh, prepare a final version of the report, which you can see here in the report module. Uh, so you will be able to download um, as PDF file, which Alex uh, showed you today, and also um, a detailed report in Excel with all objects inside here. So uh, it's easier than you can imagine, and uh, I hope that every interaction with uh, this web portal will be intuitive, engaging, and uh, above all transformative. So uh, let's continue with. Uh, with our presentation and let me share our last slide. So, John, the stage is yours. Please continue. Thank you very much, guys. Again, um, Alex, your presentation was, you know, very insightful, very detailed, and um, I'm sure uh, people on here would really appreciate it. And Lana, of course, um, taking us through the um, Upgrade scanner portal, really appreciate it. Again, very detailed, very insightful. And and that's how we end it, really. Just so you guys know, the scan your nav is available. Uh, we're launching it today. So if you do want to go on there and be able to get the diagnostics and analysis reports in terms of what it would entail uh, in relation to you know, conducting a full migration from NAV to BC. Uh, and then, as uh, Alex mentioned, you know, we've um, we've also got our services to to support you on moving forward with any migration project as well. So during this week, uh, special offer during the webinar, it's it's free upgrade scanner. You can go on there, you can um, scan the QR code. Uh, it will take you to the end progression website and there you could find um, your way through to scanyournav.com. Or again, you can just focus on, you know, typing it into um, type in scan your nav into search browser and then it will take you to our portal. And again, as I mentioned, as you can see there, uh, everybody, it is free for now. And uh, so take it while it, while you can. <laughs> it's a great opportunity to really jump on there and, and start using it. We're very um, excited here internally at M-Progression uh, about the prospects of this upgrade scanner and what it could do. We know that it's been a, a real um, focus for Microsoft to get people from legacy onto the Dynamics 365 BC. Um, so we really are hoping to support in achieving the um, the goal in making sure that people do get across to um, Dynamics 365 Business Central. So yeah, as I said, take the time, get on Scan Your Nav um, and yeah, start using it. Um, I'll be following up with some people after this uh, webinar as well, just to make sure um, that you've you're fully aware of how to to get involved with it and uh, making sure that if there's any support that we could offer you um we'll, we'll be here to support you on that basis as well so yeah so yeah um, just uh, just a moment i just forgot to add uh please um, uh, use full url address for the website three w we we'll start with three w and if you have any question on the portal or some immigration process yes we're here and uh, you can arrange a meeting um from this portal as well on this theme yeah thank you lana yeah, i forgot to mention that's quite quite imperative that um people do know you can arrange meetings on there as well um with some of our specialists and i think that that goes without saying it's very important uh, especially if you're coming to terms with it for the very first time and sometimes when you're conducting a migration project internally it can become quite overwhelming so we would we would insist on you know taking advantage of using some of our specialists as well to support you on that 
Okay, um, I think that's that's it, guys. Listen, thank you. We're just on time now, uh, 3.44. We've got one minute and we just made it. <laughs> Fantastic. Brilliant. But thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Uh, again, we look forward to seeing you again. We're going to try and make a regular occurrence with these webinars to be very informative and to support um, you know, our regular audiences and new audiences as well to make sure that they're fully aware of what's coming uh, from from us here at M Progression. As I said at the beginning, we're very innovative in the way we uh, deal with a lot of our stuff here internally and our approach. So we'll be sure to continue some of these webinars and, you know, informative talks with you moving forward. But thanks again, everybody. And there we are, bang on 45. And that's it. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye bye.